Hey there, lovers. The Comics Kid 2099 here to talk about an episode of Green Lantern, the animated series titled Love is a Battlefield. We are strong. If you haven't seen the episode, you should go do so or stick around and listen to me spoil it in my plot summary and then my review. Aya goes to the Star Sapphire homeworld and says that love is horrible because she was spurned by one she loved. So she wants love's ultimate champion to fight hate's ultimate champion to see which will win. She decides that Carol Ferris is love's champion since she convinced Gaiatea what love is earlier in the season. And I guess rage and hate are the same thing. So she finds Atrocitus wherever he is and appoints him as Hate's champion. Carol eventually pulls Hal into the fight. Gaiatea sacrifices herself to save Hal, and Aya decides that she's going to destroy the whole universe. Cue credits. So I'm glad to see the series addressing Aya's turn to the dark side after ignoring that in the previous episode. And there's possibly some really interesting character stuff going on with Aya if you dig a little bit, although it's just as likely that I'm reading too much into that. So while this episode did have some good moments, overall, I wasn't feeling this one. I guess when Aya fully went to the dark side at the end of Cold Fury, I misread the whole situation. What sent her on her way to the dark side was Razor saying that he did not love her, which goes hand in hand with this episode where she wants to prove how destructive love is. But in the end of Cold Fury, she also says the Manhunters are now under her protection, and I guess it's my fault for thinking that her new modus operandi was to be the new savior for the persecuted robots, which I was all for that after the mixed messages this series was sending about how some robots are thinking feeling beings while others are okay to destroy. But then you get to this episode where her whole thing is about love and how awful it is, and the robot rights thing I thought was kind of hinted at is completely ignored. Now I should say, I wanting to somehow destroy all love because she sees it as a destructive force that does more harm than good, that's really great after what happened between her and Razor. But I was disappointed that Aya protecting the Manhunters isn't being followed up on. And if I'm being honest, at least at this point, Aya doesn't really need the Manhunters. She seems powerful enough that she can do whatever evil thing she wants without their help. Now maybe they will become more prominent in the next few episodes, but at least for now, I really wish Aya hadn't taken these guys in. And then I wouldn't have gotten my hopes up for stuff this series would not give us. So looking at what the series did give us, I was still a little bit disappointed. This episode makes it seem like Aya wants to prove that love is stupid, and if Carol loses, that will somehow prove that. But Carol is not a fighter. Just because she convinced some aliens what love is all about does not mean that she would be a physical match against an alien warlord. And she even says as much, but to no avail. Then Carol pulls in Hal to help her deal with Atrocitus, which I'm shocked Aya was okay with that, or at least didn't call them out on that. And after they win, Aya decides that love is still stupid and she's going to destroy the universe. So what was the point of having Carol and Atrocitus fight then? Now I have a theory and if my theory is correct then it's very interesting character stuff regarding Aya but the episode doesn't give us enough to confirm my theory which is more maddening than if it was flat out denied. It almost seems like Aya is trying to get Hal to destroy her because even when she allegedly turned her emotions off she's still feeling pain from Razor's let's just be friends speech. So she pulls Hal's girlfriend from Earth and thinks if Atrocitus kills Carol then Hal will get mad enough to kill Aya and then she will no longer feel the pain that she's feeling. And if that's the case, then that is incredibly interesting, but we can't really tell if that's what's going on. What we do know for certain is that despite Aya's best efforts, she does still hold feelings for Razor. She was all set to destroy Zamoran, but when she saw Razor, she pulled back and decided to destroy the whole universe in one fell swoop. That's still not great, but I guess this gives Hal and friends hope that she can be redeemed. Although it is 100% Aya's fault that Gaiatea died, so I'm not sure if she really deserves redemption at this point. And speaking of Gaetea, she's in love with Hal Jordan after meeting him one time? Really? They spent maybe a couple of hours together and she's willing to die for him? Really? And her death was all for nothing. Agapo says Gaetea sacrificing herself proves that love is awesome, but it clearly doesn't do anything for Aya, so I kind of have to agree with Aya on this one, though I'm not really ready to destroy the universe like she is. So that's about it for this episode. It had potential, but it is a little messy thanks to a little misdirect from Cold Fury, and also some things that are a little vague here. Next week, we have yet another color getting its own lantern core, so you know I will be just thrilled with that. So tune in to hear me gush about orange and then heliotrope and chartreuse lantern cores. In the meantime, have a great rest of the day. Catch you later.